Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is Hillary from Hillary's Happy Nails. And today I am doing um, my top 10 favorite orange polishes. So as you can see in front of you here, we have 10 polishes to talk about. So there are no particular order, no favorites here. Just out of my collection. So let's see here. The first one we're gonna talk about today is Hollow Tacos Orange Drink. There we go. Hollow Tacos Orange Drink is from the 2020 Rainbow Bundle that was released by Hollow Taco. It is described as a vibrant orange tangerine. This is a linear hollow. As you can see, you can see that rainbow in there. This is two coat coverage. Um, and you are good to go. So this is orange drink from Hollow Taco. Next up from Hollow Taco, I have Oh My Gourd. And this came out in 2022's Simply Halloween treat bag. This came out with several other polishes, including a gorgeous purple. This is a true bold orange creme polish, according to Hollow Taco's website. And I was able to get this uh, full opacity in three coats. Next up from Hollow Taco, and the last one that I have is Box Office Bomb. This came out in 2023's fourth anniversary collection. It is retired now but it is described as an orange jelly with scattered hollow. And I was able to get good coverage in three coats. <clears throat> this is a jelly, so it is going to be a little juicy and a little sheer, but I was able to get full coverage with three coats. Next up, I have KB Shimmer Hey There Pumpkin, and this is also a retired polish. This is described as being a neon orange polish loaded with flakes that show off shades of gold and green with a hint of sparkle. And I was able to get this fully opaque in two coats. Next up from Orly, I have Earth Fire. This is from this year's Terra Nova collection, and I did receive this in PR, so thank you, Orly, for sending this my way. This is described as being a fiery burnt orange creme based on the beautiful canyons, and I was able to get this fully opaque in two coats. The next one from Orly, is in the conservatory and this came out last year in their plot twist collection for fall and on the website it is described as being a dusty brick red but i don't know about you i see orange so i put this in my orange video so we can fight in the comments <laughs> let me know if you think this is a red or an orange in the comments. Next on my list, I have OPI's Mango For It. And this came out in the 2022 Power of Hue collection. It is retired now, but it's a brilliant orange base with gold flakies throughout. And I was able to get this opaque in three coats. Next from OPI, something a little deeper, a little darker, is Have Your Panatone and Eat It Too. This came out in the Muse of Milan collection in 2020. It's described as being a sweet burnt orange, and I was able to get full opacity in two coats. Next up, I have Cirque Colors Pop. 
pyro. This is described as being a neon orange red cream and it's from the 2022 Vice Collection. I was able to get this one opaque in three coats. And last but not least, from Zoya, I have Cam. It's coming up a little bit darker on camera than it is in real life. It's very bright, but it is considered a warm, deep, full saturated orange, according to Zoya's website. And I was able to get this opaque in two coats. As all of these are creme polishes, you'll be able to get them off with acetone nail polish remover without a problem. You won't need to soak or scrub too hard. They'll all come off in with acetone polish remover. So these are my top 10 picks for my favorite orange polishes. Tell me what you think in the comments. Do you like any of these? Do you have any of these? Do you want any of these? Are any of these on your wish list? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!